Hello folks, Fluorescent FIFA here with another manual challenge, challenge number 17, playing on full manual controls with an added twist decided by you guys. This match is another one taken from the same live stream as the previous challenge, which was the volleys only challenge. And this one is just plain stupid. For those of you who've been asking for this one on my channel for a while, it's finally here. You can stop asking now. This is the Rennie Higuita challenge. If you don't know who Rennie Higuita is, he's the guy who did the scorpion kick save at Wembley. He was basically a lunatic goalkeeper who went up the pitch to try and score quite a lot. And that was exactly what I was trying to do here. The rules was, or the rules were, I should say, that I was only allowed to score with my goalkeeper. Great idea. Something I didn't mention in the last video, for those of you who are new, is that I always pick a random team when I do these challenges. So for this one I ended up with a team from South Korea, who I think are called something like Incheon United. Probably pronouncing that completely wrong. But um, obviously, the team I ended up in this one didn't really matter too much. All that really mattered was whether or not the goalkeeper I had could dribble, because I tried to uh, see whether or not you could score with your goalkeeper from custom set pieces, but you can't, which was a bit of a drag back, uh, which meant I was... Probably going to struggle. Um, I nearly struggled very early on because he, straight from the kickoff, managed to get through me, and actually my keeper made a good start by making a good save. And uh, then once I got the ball, this is where the problem started. I pass it to my keeper, and I have to dribble the entire length of the pitch. I try and get past this first player, and as you can see, it didn't go very well, and he scored. And um, this is the bit where I started to realise just how stupid this challenge was going to be. I mean, literally, one attempt trying to get past one player, obviously goalkeepers don't have any skill moves whatsoever. So, not a good start, and I was a bit stumped for ideas at this point for uh, for what I was going to do. Well, one of the things I didn't want to do in this challenge was play it... Um, I did a challenge which was the set-piece challenge, the rule was... Uh, I was only allowed to score from set-pieces. I didn't want that to turn into this, where all I was trying to do was get set-pieces high up the pitch, trying to... Uh, then just take them with my goalkeeper. So I gave it back to the goalkeeper there, ran up the pitch, and then completely chickened out and bailed on it. Then I try, <laughs> tried to give it back to him, but I gave up. So I decided what I would do is I'd do a mix of uh, trying to maybe win a penalty or try and win a free kick and bringing up the goalkeeper for dribbling occasionally. Because also, uh, one of the problems is when you try and do a sort of 1-2 with a goalkeeper, he just ends up running back to his goal. Whereas any other player will obviously do a normal 1-2. So here I, I try and just get tricky all over the place, hoping that he brings me down. Um... It doesn't work, unfortunately. I try frantically appealing for a penalty for anything in the live stream, but um, I didn't get it. And he tries to go up the pitch again. And uh, this time uh, I end up passing it to the keeper, and I decide that this time this is it. I'm not going to make a mistake. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm going to get past these players because I know I can do it. And um, well, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I, I just, I just got it horribly wrong again. And 14th minute, two nil down, and. This was my stream reaction. Ah, crap! No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, lordy. So, yeah, I was a little bit exasperated. Because um, I normally, throughout most of these challenges, at least every single one of them, I've at least had a good go at. I've given a decent account of myself, whereas this... I realised there was just no hope. Obviously, it's not really got an awful lot to do with manual either, if I'm if I'm uh, completely honest. But uh, what I wanted to talk about, I've gone into highlights mode now, by the way. So um, the full match is available on my Twitch channel, just like the previous one was. The links in the description if you want to check that out. But what I want to talk about is um, basically just what's happened to my YouTube channel this week. It's been a crazy, crazy week. My channel has you know exploded more than I would if I was in bed with Keely Hazel. Um, that was a horrendous miss by him there. I don't know what on, what on earth was going on for, from another failed keeper attempt. But um, it started, you know, this week with uh, me winning KSI's top five. That was completely unexpected and out of the blue. That's given my channel a boost. And I also got a, a big shout out on Twitter from uh, Nepenthes, which I really do appreciate. Um, and that's basically brought in about maybe 250 to 300 new subscribers. I think I think my channel gained about 250 subscribers in um, 24 hours, uh, which was pretty amazing. So, um, you know, it was a really nice boost for my channel uh, to, to get over that 1,000 mark, because obviously uh, those of you who have uh, been keeping track for a while, especially on Twitter, will know I was aiming for uh, 1,000 subscribers by FIFA 13, and we've obliterated that. We're, um, we're on about 1,100 at the time of recording this, which is awesome. 
Uh, just a quick uh, quick thing I, I'm going to bring up from the stream. This was some advice I gave. You know how I, I usually say sometimes you should try this one? Don't try this one. I do normally recommend some of these challenges that people give them a go, but this one was just plain stupid. It doesn't improve your dribbling or anything like that, so I wouldn't recommend it. But, uh, yeah, so... It's been a really good week for my channel, um, and what I uh, want to hopefully do is obviously hopefully keep that going, but what I also want to do a bit more regularly, I was planning on doing it uh, more this week, but I ended up having a bit of a, um, a big family commitment uh, to go to, which kind of curtailed it a bit, but um, I want to live stream a bit more regularly. So I'm going to be looking at doing a live stream this weekend, I'll probably put up a separate video explaining what's going on, um, but that's something I'm keen to do a bit more of, I want to try and get subscribers involved as well. So that should be um, good fun, that should be something to look forward to. I want to make the manual v manual as well, but I don't know exactly how it's going to work. I've got a vague idea in my head. I'll post a separate video for that. And um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I finally also can get around to sort of producing um, some more new stuff other than these challenges. I've been meaning to do a couple of, maybe try out a couple of different series for a while. What I would like to do is experiment a little bit with... Uh, uh, a couple of different series, maybe try out some new things before FIFA 13 comes out, see what you guys like the most, and then maybe do those at the beginning of FIFA 13 at least. Um, so I might do a kind of uh, something, obviously, it, I can't really do something like a Road to Division 1 or anything like that, but I could maybe just do a summary with some very brief highlights of, say, a series of games from head-to-head -head seasons in the kind of style I would think of maybe doing a Road to Division 1 in FIFA 13, see what you guys think of that. I could do, um, you know, an Ultimate Team series, I don't know exactly what it would be, but just something along those lines, just to see what you guys think, and if you, there are some you guys like, if there are some you guys don't like, I can then decide accordingly. Um, so that's what's going to be happening in the, uh, in the sort of near future, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, one of the reasons I've, obviously, in this, in this match I've shown you plenty of highlights of what he does, is partially because I didn't really create any other chances apart from sprinting with my goalkeeper. And uh, also partially because um, he was actually playing pretty well. He was getting through me a lot. My defending was a bit off in this game. And um, the e even more ridiculous thing, as you can see on the screen there, is who won man of the match. Somehow, I don't really know how, my goalkeeper managed to win it. Purely because of the number of saves he ended up making, despite the fact that he gave away two horrendous goals. It was a bit ridiculous. Um, but regardless, uh, this was the Rennie Higuita challenge. The challenge was to... Uh, only score with <laughs> only score with my goalkeeper and as you can see there on from the stats not a single shot i didn't manage to get close so without a shadow of a doubt by the biggest margin of any of these challenges it is challenge failed the full match is available on twitch if you want to go check that out um i have two more challenges from the uh, live stream i did that in which i will post highlights of uh, in the over the next week or so i should be having a good few videos for you in the next coming week um so hopefully that's something to look forward to, and uh, I'll keep you updated on that uh, that live stream I'm hoping to do this weekend. In the meantime, preferably without bringing your keeper out of the goal, play manual. See you next time.